Good morning, guys. It's Lori from PassionatePennyPincher.com, and today is day three of Crocktober, where every day for the entire month of October, we are making slow cooker recipes every single day in our crock pots. It's so super easy. I'm super excited. I hope that you are getting dinner done. I'm thrilled about it. If you click the link in the video, or actually if you type the word crock in just a second, type the word crock, give us one second, and you should be able to get, we'll send you exactly all the recipes, the grocery list, everything you're gonna need to join us for Crocktober. Good morning, Sherry, so glad to see you. As you're hopping on, guys, tell me, what have you made for dinner tonight? Are you making dinner? Have you come up with a plan for dinner? Because if you haven't, I highly encourage you to join us. You're gonna love this. Our dinner last night was so yummy. It was the chicken nachos. They were fantastic. Um, it was super, super fun. Good morning, Joanne and Carrie. Guys, tell me what you're having for dinner. And like I said, you can totally get this completely free recipe, cookbook, everything you need. You're gonna type in the word crock. It may take a second, but hang on. It should be working in just a second and we will send it right out to you. Okay, so how many of you have made rigatoni in the crock pot? Because if you haven't, you totally should. Oh, and I forgot something. I have Amazon gift cards. Hit the share this button and we will pick one winner from today's live who hits the share with this button to win a $10 Amazon gift card. And if you take a picture with your Crocktober free cookbook and post it on the Passionate Penny Pincher Facebook wall, I would love to see you. We will give you a, you'll have an everyday we're picking one lucky winner who posts a picture on their Facebook page. So let me see who you are. I would love to see you. I'm so glad that everything is work that y'all are here this morning. You had the you love the um, nachos last night, Christy. I am so glad. Jennifer, are you making rigatoni? Yay! Chandra, did anybody else think with those nachos last night that it would be fantastic? It would be fantastic to have. Um, Use that chicken, if you had leftover chicken, to make chicken tortilla soup. That's all I was dreaming about last night was chicken tortilla soup. It would be so yummy. Oh, you're going to Chili's tonight. Proceeds are being do go donated to St. Jude's. I love that. Okay, I think the word crock is working. So hit, type in the word crock, and I will send you all the recipes right out to you so you can have them and join us. Okay, are we ready? If you didn't miss getting the recipes, darling, type the word crock, and you should be able to get it. And I'll put that right here so you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm using my crazy crock pot today. I am super excited about this little thing. Let's see, I'm gonna go right there. There we go. Can y'all see, this cock pot's a little hard to see, that's why I try to put the camera up a little higher. So, here we go. Use, type the word crock for all the recipes we're using. Let me know if it works. Hopefully you guys are getting something right back. A little message, we're trying to be fancy today with technology. We'll see how it goes. So I'm taking a pound of ground beef. I'm using Lars Lean ground beef. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and brown this in my crock pot. Can y'all see that? I'm washing my hands real fast while that's browning. And while this is browning, and I'm using, remember this is my crock pot, um, I think it's called the crock pot multi. It's the crock pot multi cooker. We'll get a link for it and we'll put that in. And actually, if you sign up, if you sign up for the, if you type in the word crock, um, I will send a link to this crock pot out via email this morning. So I'll send you out which one, if you're curious which one it is, there you go. Can y'all see, I need, here, let's do this right here. I bet you can see that there. That didn't work. It is very hard to see with all the comments. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit higher. I like this thing. The only thing I don't like about it is the buttons. It's got more buttons than I really love. There we go. Okay, now we're going high. Okay, so I'm browning my meat in the crock pot. And that's the one thing I love about this crock pot is you can do it all in one pan. So while that's browning, I'm gonna go ahead and make up my salad for dinner. And for salad, I am just doing a real simple, basic Caesar salad. I love Caesar salad. The thing I like most about it is that my kids and husband like Caesar salad, so I feel like it's one of the few salads we can do. When you sign up for the cookbook, like I said, type in the word crock and we'll send it right out to you. When you sign up for that, um, inside the recipe cookbook is also my recipe for homemade bread. It's fantastic. Best ever homemade bread on the planet. Um, I am not making it today because I'm gonna be real honest. If I have bread in the house, myself and my children eat all the bread, and my husband. So I'm trying to be a little healthier and skip the bread, but oh my gosh, the homemade bread recipe in this cookbook is amazing. Instead, I'll have the Parmesan. Give me all the Parmesan. So I'm literally just making my salad, so this will be done. I'll wait. The dressing that I like is this 
Ken's, I'm a big fan of Ken's Steakhouse dressings. This is the Ken's Creamy Caesar. I love it. Okay, let's get back over here and see how this is browning now. You do have to get your meat browned, which is kind of a pain. Sorry, guys. It's going to take a little while as we get this on here working. Oh, is it working? It looks like. Let me know. Is the, did you get, are you guys getting messages, I hope, for the crock pot, the cookbook? Let me know if that's working for you. Okay, so this is almost browned, almost there. And if you have any, any suggestions on what I can do on how you like, on favorite um, slow cooker meals, I would love to hear what they are. We were talking last night. Um, we have volume, you'll get one volume one and volume two for free of Crocktober. Um, but if you want, people said they would love another volume. And my problem is that I'm really picky about Crockpot recipes and I'm not gonna give you any that aren't really, really good. turn this heat up here. Let me show you how this, I'm gonna, can y'all see the crock pot? There we go. So it has all these buttons and I, that's my only gripe about it is it's too many choices here. Okay. It's just got to brown just a little bit more and then we're good. And you know, this is that Lars lean. I love that it is not fatty at all. Like there's hardly any fat. Like I'm really not going to have to drain off much at all. And what I'm going to do is how many of y'all remember this thing that I found, look at this thing. This is my little teeny tiny colander from the Dollar Tree. I'm actually gonna use it to drain off this grease real fast. The thing I do love about this crock pot, and like I said, I will send you information about it. Look at it, you can pick it right up. The handles are cool, which is amazing. Okay, you're gonna have to do that. There's so little fat here. I'm putting my crock pot back in here. Are we ready now? The next thing we're gonna do on the recipe is we're gonna layer a little bit of spaghetti sauce. About half a jar of ragu is layered right along the bottom. So there's our bottom, just a, about half. Okay, so I don't want it to be too much. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add half the pasta, which I already cooked. So you want your pasta to be already cooked. So this is um, rigatoni, it's the nice big pasta noodles. Um, I am so excited. I almost feel like this is like pizza in the crock pot, if you can imagine that. I feel like we're making, it's like a pizza in the, in the crock pot. You're gonna love this. Now we're gonna go ahead and we'll add that. About half, and it's cooked al dente. So you don't want it to be very cooked because if it's really cooked, it'll get real mushy. So you want it cooked, but not like crazy cooked, just a nice little bit. And like I said, type in the word crock, we will send you the recipe cookbook right out to your email. So as soon as you type that in, you're gonna get a message from me. Then go ahead and make sure you click the link in your email and I'll send and you'll get the cookbook. Okay, so there is, the rigatoni is in. Now we're gonna add in half the pot, the ground beef, which I have in my cute little colander over here. This is that cute, this colander is from the Dollar Tree. How cute is that? Can you see it? I'm hoping it's working that you can see. I know, it is hard to go wrong with Italian. I am gonna turn this off because this is cooking now. There we go. I don't want it to really cook what's in there. Okay, so there's half the Italian beef, or the half the ground beef. Then we're gonna add in half of the mozzarella cheese. And you know what, this is getting hot. I'm actually, I think we're okay. I'm trying to read your comments. It's so hard to see them. You hear the clicking too? You got the message. Oh, are y'all hearing the clock clicking? Oh, you know what? Let me try this. What if I do this? Here, can you, is the clicking gone now? I think I just fixed the clicking. I'm so sorry, guys. You know what it was? Every time somebody types in croc, it's popping off on my page. Is that better? Okay, is the clicking gone now? Did that stop the clicking? I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't even think about that. I was hearing it here, but I didn't even think about, oh, are you still hearing it? I'm hoping it goes away. Sorry about the clicking. We're gonna have to figure that part out. Like I said, we're not tacky, te uh, too tech savvy over here. Okay, so there is the 
mozzarella. Now we're gonna layer in, and this is the good part. This is where it's like a pizza, guys. We're gonna layer in some pepperoni. And this is turkey pepperoni. I like the turkey pepperoni. It's a little less fatty. Um, really yummy. The nice thing about the pepperoni too is that if you have kids who are picky, they can easily take the pepperoni out and it's an easy one. Was that driving? Is the, is the cooking gone? I am so sorry, guys. I should have caught that earlier. Y'all, I don't even, I don't know what I was thinking. Because I could hear it, but I wasn't thinking about y'all hearing it. Sorry, guys. Thanks for your patience with me as I figure out technology and the internet because I am really slow at this stuff. Then we're gonna add on, and I'm gonna only add this on half because my kids are not gonna love this stuff, but I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna add in some fresh mushrooms. Oh, can y'all see that very well? Let me make sure you can, can you see, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna add half my fresh mushrooms to half. And what's nice about this is I can use these other mushrooms to make a really yummy omelet for lunch, which makes me really happy because I love omelets. Then I'm gonna add in some black olives. And like I said, the recipe, oh my gosh, y'all, this is an easy one, so stinking yummy. Now I'm gonna add another layer of everything one more time. So we're gonna add another layer of pasta, which I just lost my pasta. Where did I put the pasta? Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a small layer of sauce now just a little bit, because I want to add a little bit more in later. Then you're going to add in your pasta. Mine's kind of sticking together a wee bit, but it's going to be fine. I'm going to save out a little bit of pasta because I have one kid who might be picky. I'm going to make her eat some of it, but I want to have a little bit left over so that if she doesn't eat it, I have an option. Okay, then we're going to do everything we just did again. We're going to layer the pasta, the rest of the ground beef, the mushrooms. Again, I'm only doing the mushrooms on this half. The black olives. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the mozzarella cheese. Actually, I'm gonna do the pasta first. So I'm gonna do the rest of the pasta. Okay. And honestly, if I had a little extra pasta, I would probably do it. In fact, I need to have a little extra pasta. Okay, I don't have any extra. It's gonna be fine. I think I used a little bit too much. So when you do it, don't use quite as much on the bottom. Be a little bit sparing on the bottom so you have plenty on the top. Then we're gonna add on the mozzarella. Y'all look at that. Then we're gonna cover it and cook it on low for three to four hours. So this is not a crock pot meal that you would use in the crock pot all day long. Like you would only do it for about half of it. Oh my gosh, so, did it work there? Hopefully it's working for you guys. Okay, so there we go. We just put everything in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna show you how. Can y'all see this? Are any of y'all new here today? I feel like there are a lot of new folks. I am so glad you guys are here today. Thank you so much. Did I forget the pepperoni? I did forget the pepperoni. Thank you, who just said that? Okay, hang on, I gotta find, I'm gonna add the pepperoni in because I do love me some pepperoni. Here we go, thank you so much for saying that. I'm gonna sneak in the pepperoni here, y'all. Cause really, if you had a pizza, actually what I might do, you know what I'm gonna do? It so doesn't matter, you can't mess this up. I'm gonna do the pizza, I'm gonna do the pepperoni. My family loves them some cheese. Can y'all see this? There, there you go. So I'm gonna add, thank you for saying that, whoever said that. And I'm gonna do a bunch more cheese. There we go. It's gonna be, I mean, really, you can't mess this up for sure. That's the best part is you can't mess it up. So there we go. Now that it's all done, um, I'm gonna take the lid. And I'm gonna move it right over here so you guys can see it. I'm gonna start it up. Hey guys, so glad to see you. I know, it's ooey gooey, cheesy goodness, for sure. It's gonna be fan stinkantastic, and I love that dinner is made. Now, you can do two things. You can, probably what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go ahead and stick it in, but I'm not gonna turn it on until later. So, because it's only cooking three to four hours, 
I can stick, I may stick it in the fridge. I may just stick the crock in the fridge and then I'll actually put it in the crock pot at like one o'clock this afternoon. Does that make sense? So we've got it, but we've got that done. Our salad is done. Crocktober is awesome. I will answer any questions you guys have about Crocktober. Oh, Tanya, you are from Nova Scotia. I'm so glad you're here. Guys, don't forget, if you type the word in croc, you can get this recipe and all of the recipes for free in our Crocktober cookbook. Somehow I set down my, there it is right there. Hang on. I'm gonna send you, I could not find this all morning long. Okay, I'm gonna send you my free Crocktober cookbook. You can print it out at home. If you want to order the real one, like if you'd like to have a real copy of this, we've got the, you can order it. Um, you can totally get it for free. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to, but if you want to, you totally can. All you gotta do is um, click the shop place on the Facebook page and you can buy the cookbook as well if you'd like a real one sent to you. It does include 40 recipes. Um, 40 slow cooker recipes, four desserts, one slow cooker dessert each week. So next week we are making, what are we making next week? Next week we're making, I gotta remember it. What are we making next week for dessert? Apple crisp, next week is the apple crisp. So click the link in the video if you would like that. You still didn't get it. If you type in the word croc, check your messages, you should get it right away. Is it working for everybody? It's very fancy y'all for us. And it, like I'm getting these little dings on the top of the page, which is kind of weird to see those all. Sliced zucchini, oh Pamela, that's a fantastic idea. I should have done, next time I should try spaghetti squash. That's a fantastic idea to do, to do that. Um, if y'all have any other questions, I'm going to clean up my kitchen. I'll chat with you guys as I'm cleaning up. Like I said, you can go to the click. If you type the word crock, we will mail this right out to you. Check your mail. You do need to check your inbox because that's the only way you can get it. Um, how much the real one costs? I think it's, I think this one is $14.99 and this one is $16.99. Like I said, you can get it for free. You don't have to buy it. It doesn't matter to me either way. Thank you, Deanna. You love my shirt. It's from Jane. Actually, most of my clothes are from Jane or Stitch Fix. That's where I get all my clothes. Um, I'm going to tidy up my kitchen while we chat. I'll answer any questions you guys have. Let me know if you're making this. Yours worked, but it took a couple minutes. It should come pretty fast, Stacy. I wonder why it's taking a few minutes. It may just be, it's going to be a little wonky for sure. Um, I don't know why it's being wonky. Hey, Krista, you are new from Cleveland, Ohio. I live just up the road from you in uh, Columbus, so not too far away. It's working, Kathy. Yay, I'm so glad to hear it's working. It takes a while to get the message. It was acting a little weird last night. We're just practicing with it to see if this makes it easier than having to click the link in the video, so I'm hoping it works. We'll see. You didn't get the email when you typed croc. Okay, you should in just a second. And the other thing is you should get a message from me and then in your email, you're gonna actually have to go to your real email. So like whatever your email is, um, go into your email, check your spam folder because odds are, odds are very good. Everything goes to spam. So um, also the nice thing is I will send you out information on daily deals. Christmas is coming. We all know that's exciting unless you come hang out with me in the kitchen. Um, Christmas is coming, which is super exciting. And so the nice thing is when you sign up for Crocktober, I will keep you up to date with all the deals as they come around too, which is super fun. Hey, Kim in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, check your email, check your inbox for sure. It may take a couple of minutes to actually get into your email. So watch that. Um, only works if you typed it in caps. Try typing in caps. So first, thank you, Roxanne. So first you type in the word croc, immediately you'll get a message from me saying, check your email like give us your email address and then I will send it to your inbox. So see if that works. You don't have a message either. If you didn't get a message, guys, send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and I will send it right back. I'm hoping it's working. I think it's working, which is exciting. That means we figured something out today. And also I would love to hear for any of you guys who've been around here, you know I've been struggling with audio and video. Tell me what you think about this new camera. I just got the new iPhone and I'm hoping it's working. Oh, I'm so glad that you're, Miriam, I'm so glad you enjoy cooking with us. It is so fun. It goes to Facebook Messenger. Yeah, look on Facebook Messenger is where you're gonna see it for sure. I wanna tell you too, what's super awesome about this recipe is look at my yummy omelet I'm gonna make for lunch today. Look at that, mushrooms and Parmesan and olives. Yumminess, I love when you can repurpose things. Oh, Mandy, I would love to meet you too. Dreamfield pasta is low carb. Is it good, Pauletta? I should try that one. I'm gonna do mostly salad tonight and a little pasta. I really have been itching for this rigatoni. You would love to have the pecan. Oh, Tammy, do you make a pecan cobbler? That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I love that. Oh, you know what I forgot? Y'all look at this. Look what I forgot. 
I forgot the onions. I totally got that. Oh, you said that. Thank you so much. You said the picture and sound is wonderful. So glad. That makes my day so happy. It was worth all the stress yesterday as I stressed over that. I'm so glad. I don't even know which phone I got. I just know that it's good. Okay, so when I walk around, you can't hear me. Seems to be working good to you. The video and sound is great. That is a huge blessing because y'all know if you've been watching for a bit of time, I have been having major issues with my audio. So I'm tickled that it's working well. That's fantastic. The camera looks really good on it. So I'm excited about that. Okay, it looks like it's working. Tammy, thank you for posting it. Post it on the wall. We would love to include you for sure. You don't need to put your email on here, right? Don't put your email on the comment here. Just type in the word crock and then I can talk to you that way. So that way we'll know for sure what's going on. Will this work on any crock pot? Oh, Denise, such a fantastic question. First of all, I will send the link to my crazy crock pot out an email, but you do not need that one. Let me go close my fridge. So Denise, awesome question. So the deal is you just need to cook your pasta at your, um, you need to cook your ground beef ahead of time. So I did cook my ground beef ahead of time, which is what made it, um, and so you'll have to do that on the stove. I just did it in the crock pot because I had that crock pot, but you totally don't have to. You still haven't gotten an email with the recipe. Uh, yeah, I just closed the fridge. Um, yeah. Oh, Kristen, you've got a sick kiddo today. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my fridge is closed now. Thank you guys for letting me know. I'm hoping the word crock works. Don't forget guys, if you hit the share this button on this video, share this with someone you know, and we're gonna send out a $10 Amazon gift card. But even more importantly guys, I would love to see you. Like I love seeing your picture. So take a picture. Once you print your Croctober cookbook, take a picture, take a big old selfie and show it to me because I feel like so often, like I really am just a normal mom over here, just like you guys. I am not an internet marketer. I don't know. I just kind of fell into this crazy job and I like to see other normal moms are watching this and it helps them and watching your little pictures of you guys has made my day. So I would love to see that. Jamie, if you type in the word croc, type in the word croc right there and then um, that should hopefully, that's going to let it work. So type the word croc in the cookbook, in the um, comments and I will send you right out the free cookbook. Tammy, you got yours. I'm so glad. Kimberly, I'm hoping it's going to work for you. And if you have any issues with it, send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will get you all set up for sure. Thank you, Dina, for sharing. I appreciate you a ton. Yours went in. Yes, Jamie, it may go into your promotions tab, so you're going to have to check your, in -mail, your inbox for sure. Oh, um, Yvette, I'm so glad you want to see it again. I don't know that it's all exciting, but if you will, um, if you will... Start at the end. At the, once we finish the video, you can rewatch it all over again on passionatepennypincher.com. Definitely check your spam folder. The trash fell right beside the trash as I moved it the can. It didn't fall. It actually made it. I think it made it. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, so for those of you who did have questions about the rigatoni, you're going to make the pasta. You're going to cook the pasta ahead of time. So you'll have it pre cooked, but you want it al dente. You don't want it super cooked. And then you will also, um, so pre cook your pasta ahead of time, pre cook your ground beef ahead of time. I did use my crazy crock pot over there to do that. Um, but you don't have to have that type of crock pot. It just makes it easier. I will give you information on this crock pot. I will tell you that I've had that crock pot and I've had the Ninja crock pot. The Ninja. I, there are different things I like about it. This one cooks a lot cooler than the Ninja. So I feel like I almost, um, need to turn it up to cook for all day. Like I cooked something on low the other day and it took a long time to cook. It's definitely a lot cooler than my regular crock pot was. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn it on. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and turn it on later today. Um, but I would definitely, I like this crock pot. I love the Ninja, but the thing I love about this is I love that the handles are cool. The Ninja's handles are hot. Um, but honestly guys, if you want a great crock pot, these are awesome, but I think the Ninja cooks so hot. This one cooks a little cool. If you want a great traditional crock pot, you probably need a plain old crock pot. I do, yesterday, we sent out, I'll send this again via email too. Yesterday, this crock pot is like one of my all-time favorites and um, it does uh, cook amazingly and we will put a link, it's on sale for like $24.99 I think, which is like its lowest price. So I'm gonna make sure that everything's working. It looks like, okay, it looks like things are working on the crock for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna hop off and let you guys get on to your day today. And don't forget guys, we will be making, oh, I should tell you what we're gonna make the next couple days because I'm super excited. And like I said, you can buy the cookbook. You don't, the cookbook's free. So just type the word in crock and I'm gonna mail it to you. But if you wanna buy the cookbook and have it as we're going, um, or to have it, like my friend said, she uses hers all the time, go to, um, on the shop store, there's a shop page on Facebook. Just click that shop button and you can get it. 
Um, okay, tomorrow we're doing the slow cooker ranch pork chops. I will be making those in my, in this crock pot, um, in the flatter one. And then Friday, I can't even make, wait, we are making slow cooker white chicken chili. So good. What did you, let's see. You're not sure your message earlier. Hang on, let me see. Brenda, you said, have you tried turkey pepperoni? It's not as, yes, we are using turkey pepperoni because it's not as greasy. I would definitely use turkey pepperoni because it does, the other kind does get a little bit greasy. Oh, Veronica, thank you so much for saying you want to appreciate all the information. I have to tell you, Veronica, yesterday I was having one of those days where I was like, why am I even doing this? Like, I, is it even helping people? And I'm struggling through finding tech stuff and I'm really just a normal person. So I really have needed to hear some encouragement. I, I, it was so funny how God does things. I had three emails yesterday from people that just made me feel like maybe this was helpful. So I really appreciate you a ton. Email again. Um, if you're having issues with the it working, type in the word, um, send me an email. If you're having issues with getting the cookbook, type in the word croc or send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will get it out to you. The other thing, I just saw another question I wanted to make sure I said, what are the brands of crock pots you use? I, Esther, I will send that out as soon as you get your crock, I will send that out via email this morning. So if you sign up for the cookbook, I'll also send you an email with daily deals. Um, the crock pots that I like are, I like, I'm using the crock pot brand, five, like the multi cooker, I like it. Um, I like a regular traditional crock pot. So I think any good crock pot that has decent reviews is going to be fine, but I'll send you an email. Actually, when you sign up, I will send you an email that tells you my favorite crock pots as well. So you'll get all that information. You got the instant pot for $65. I was thinking this morning, I don't want to do five days of instant pot, but we should probably do that because I know we should do instant pot, but I hate the instant pot. So anyways, um, but I love my crock pot. You're looking for a mac and cheese. Okay, Erica, there is a fantastic mac and cheese. Go type in the words, eat at home, Instant Pot Mac and Cheese, best mac and cheese you will ever eat in your entire life. Eden Home Cooks, her mac and cheese is just to die for. It's amazing. Um, you need it. It's fantastic. Well, look, what is, oh, the last crock pot, this one. I'll send you that. We sent this out via email. This one, and I think it was 24 or 29. It's normally like 59. It was 29. Um, actually, you can see on Monday when you sign up for the Crocktober Cookbook, on Monday we made the chocolate lava cake. Um, I'm trying really hard not to eat the whole thing. That's what it looks like. It's amazing. You warm the sucker up in the microwave. There's like yummy gooey hot fudgeness underneath it. You need to click that link in the video and sign up for this because you're going to love it. It's fantastic. It's really a fantastic cookbook and it has little like kind of Bible ver verses and daily prayers. It's just a fun cookbook. Um, oh, thank you. Somebody just put the link for that in. You'll post the crock pot pecan recipe. Thank you, Tammy, for print putting that in. You two crock pots, the one your mom brought your husband in a garage sale when you started dating. I love that, Stacey. I love that. Um, okay. Trash is on the floor. There is probably trash on the floor. Yeah, I see a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> what brand is the crock pot on sale? It's, um, it's a crock pot brand. It's actually called crock pot. Uh, thank you for helping. You're so welcome, Stanae. I appreciate you so much. You guys have an amazing day. I think I've gotten through most of the questions. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much for being precious. Um, I know. Do you guys like it being coming right to you? The little email, Linda? It is kind of nice that goes through there. I'm trying to get all your questions. So helpful dinner has always been a struggle, but thanks to you in Cracktober, it's much easier. Jennifer, I'm so excited, and we get to do it for four whole weeks. So we're only on day three, and I was thinking today, it's like so fun. Like, it's a party here every morning, which I think is a blast. Thank you, Brie, for saying you love watching it. Y'all are so sweet. You're cooking a roast. Oh my gosh, next Monday, we're making my favorite roast. It's in the cookbook, totally free. Print your list. This You don't get the printed one, but it's a PDF you can print at home um, unless you want to buy the one in the shop in the shop on Facebook. But the roast in this cookbook is to die for. I can't even wait. It is so good. Thank you, Danita. Thank you, Paula. Okay. Oh, Phyllis, thank you for saying you're blessed to watch us every day. You still don't have the email. Linda, if you're having an issue, send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will mail it right out to you. Thank you, Michelle, for saying you're sending encouragement. I appreciate you. And I have such a great little support team, but some days, you know, you just feel like you're not rocking life. And then yesterday was my day. I was not rocking life. So I'm hoping today I was going to rock it a little bit better. You love, Stacey, you love your Instant Pot for mac and cheese as well. I love that. Allison, you did Crocktober last year. I'm so glad you did it last year and are back to do it again today. That makes me so happy. Um, you know what? I can. I can. Via email this morning, when I stick in my email, I will make sure to put that mac and cheese link in there because it is fantastic and you will love it. My son thought it was the best. So yeah, I will do that for sure. I need a list of notes. I better write that down because I will forget. 
Okay, so in today's email, I'm gonna send out links to both crock pots. And really, honestly, guys, the only way you can keep up with all this stuff is to keep up with Passionate Penny Pincher emails because there's too much information. I feel like I have all this stuff I gotta tell you about. So I'm gonna send links to crock pots and I will put Tiffany's mac and cheese recipe in there. So make sure you open your emails, okay? Because I have my to-do list now that she told me what she wanted to do. Um, do the recipes come in every day? You get to print all the recipes and then you can pick which ones. And it comes with, what's awesome is it includes like a grocery list and everything. It's pretty amazing. Thank you so much, Katie. I appreciate you a ton. When you put in the word it, that, um, let's see, you enjoy this, you love the cookbook. I'm so glad. Where did she say you got that crock pot? I will send that out all, Denise, via email today and you can click. Oh, I wish you were at the, Maureen, I know. I wish I could hang out with you guys. I would love to just, wouldn't it be fun if we could all be in a little room together just making crock pot stuff? It would be so fun. Thank you for sharing, Shannon. I appreciate you and Shannon, I love seeing you on here. I hope you have an amazing day today. Okay, I think, thanks Renee for saying I rock today. Catherine, you just discovered me and I'm so glad you did. Oh, Catherine, that makes my heart so happy. Thank you so much for telling me that. That makes my day and I love that. Okay, I think y'all love Crocktober. Third year doing Crocktober, Denise. I was thinking to this morning, I was like, do you think in like 10 years we'll still be doing Crocktober? Do you think we'll be over it then in 10 years? I don't know. Hopefully I'll be, if I'm doing Crocktober, hopefully I'll be doing it like from the beach or somewhere, even though Crocktober is more fun when it's a little chilly outside. Um, thank you, Carrie. I'm so glad you love the emails. Not on topic, but can you say a prayer for you? Oh, Crystal, they're send a prayer to, to a heart doctor ASCP. They found something not normal yesterday, so they're, you're nervous. Crystal, I, Heavenly Father, be with Crystal right now. Give her peace and strength and energy and let her know that you have such good plans for her. Give her so much peace. Give her doctor's discernment. Be with her, bless her, and keep her. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, Crystal, you know I have a heart for people with heart stuff. My husband had a heart attack. Many of y'all remember that at 45, so it was like two years ago. So, Crystal, we are all praying for you. We know We've all had crummy things happen, and I know that God is a good God who loves you dearly, and so I just pray extra peace, and you are on my hearts today for sure. So thank you, Crystal, for feeling like you could share that with us. Okay, guys, I could sit here and talk to you guys all day long. That would be like my favorite thing, but I do have to get other stuff done. Um, uh, Hope, I'm so glad you found us. Okay, guys, you think I'll, Denise, do you think I won't be making crock pot recipes when the kids have done, grown and flown? I hope I still am. I hope I still care about cooking. Maybe I can invite the grandkids over for dinner. In 10 years, I'll have grandkids running around and we'll be, we'll all be watching together. You guys have an amazing day. Crystal, we are praying, especially for you right now. Ha know that God has a great plan for you. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Thank you for getting the cookbook. Watch for your email. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.